crocifisso. Non è qui. Pope Francis began the month of May by launching a prayer marathon to bring an end to the pandemic. The rosary was prayed from a different Marian shrine each day throughout the month. Vergine Maria, volge a noi i tuoi occhi misericordiosi in questa pandemia del coronavirus e conforta quanti sono smarriti e piangenti per i loro cari morti, sepolti a volte in un modo che ferisce l'anima. In May, the Pope launched a task force in the Vatican to formally excommunicate members of mafia groups. He also issued the Motu Proprio Antiquium Ministerium, or Ancient Ministry, to formally establish the lay ministry for catechists, citing that catechists evoke the way in which the first Christians used to evangelize. On May 16th, Pope Francis celebrated Mass to pray for peace in Myanmar, which had been under dictatorial rule for four months. The readings were in Burmese, the most widely spoken language in Myanmar. The Pope received several foreign officials at the Vatican in May, including U.S. Special Climate Envoy John Kerry and the President of Pope Francis's native Argentina, Alberto Fernandez. <laughs> the Vatican hosted a three-day conference to discuss the future of health and vaccines. It featured speakers such as U.S. Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci and the CEO of Pfizer, Dr. Albert Borla. In May, renewed attacks between Israel and Palestine prompted the Pope to call for peace in the Holy Land. He spoke with the President of Turkey over the phone to discuss the crisis in the Middle East. Davvero, pensiamo di costruire la pace distruggendo l'altro? In nome di Dio che ha creato tutti gli esseri umani uguali nei diritti, nei doveri e nella dignità e li ha chiamati a convivere come fratelli tra di loro, faccio appello alla calma e a chi ne ha responsabilità di far cessare il frastumo delle armi e di percorrere le vie della pace. Pilgrims filled St. Peter's Basilica for the Pope's Pentecost Mass. In his homily, Pope Francis shared why the world needs the Holy Spirit. Se avete buio nella tua solitudine, se porti dentro un macigno che soffoca la speranza, se hai nel cuore una ferita che brucia, se non trovi la via di uscita, apriti allo Spirito. The Pope ended the month by praying the rosary before an original replica of Mary on Tire of Knots in the Vatican Gardens to close the month-long prayer marathon.